So this is your question. You have to draw the perspective view of a pentagonal prism 20 mm side and 45 mm long lying on one of its rectangular faces on the ground and having its axis. This is your axis. Axis perpendicular to the picture plane. This is your picture plane. This is your the axis is perpendicular to the picture plane. One of the pentagonal faces touches the picture plane. Okay. One of the pentagonal faces touching the picture plane. It's on the picture plane. And uh, the station point. The station point is 50 mm in front of the picture plane and 25 mm over the ground. And lies in a central plane. What is, where is the central plane? That's what we need to know. Which is 70 mm to the left of the center of the prism. So the center of the prism happens to be in this point when you look from the top. From this point 70 mm towards the left okay so this is where your center plane goes like this goes like this center plane right now 70 mm towards left lies your center plane and from the picture plane it is 50 mm in front of picture plane and 25 mm above the ground plane so from this point you are looking at the object so the first step, how do you draw the top view with respect to the picture plane? So when you look from the top, as you see it now, see the edge of the picture plane and the top view of this, it's actually a rectangle. Now the twist of this question is, you know it's 45 mm long, but you don't know the length, uh, I mean the breadth of this rectangle. Now how do you find out the breadth of the rectangle? Because if you want to find out the breadth of the rectangle, you have to draw the pentagon, right? So, so the, the top view actually happens to be something like this. This is the top view, that's for sure. But how do you find out this length? And for that, you have to draw a pentagon. So I would, uh, uh, there is actually a, a smooth, smooth way by which you can work from bottom to toes, something like you can draw the front view first and make it here. So. So, for ease of understanding, uh, I would suggest you draw like this. So, we know the length, we don't know the breadth. For knowing the breadth, what we are going to do is, we are going to draw the front view of this thing first, and in a separate way. So, what we are going to do is, we are going to take 20 mm distance here, and then 108 degrees, 108 degrees, and uh, as you can see this, and uh, you complete the pentagon. Now, once you complete the pentagon, we can project from the end points, we project the distance and we can find out the top view. So I want you to draw the front view top view of this arrangement separately. Okay. Uh, and then you take, you redraw this top view here. All right. So this is our required top view. So this, when you look from the top, these are the three edges that you see, these three edges and the two hidden edges inside when you look from the top are these edges, okay. So I want you to, uh, anyway if you want to draw the top view, you have to draw the pentagon first and then you project it to get the breadth of the rectangle. And then you start redrawing this one here. rays to B C E. Why? Because A B C E, this whole pentagon face is actually touching the picture plane. So even if we draw the so even if we draw the visual rays to each and every points, the piercing points happens to be the same points. So you don't need to draw the visual rays unnecessarily because these are itself these itself are the piercing points. But the back side you have to draw all this 
we should raise and these are the previous points for those Now we go to the So we have completed the top view, station point. This is the picture plane. Right? We have completed the, the front view. Now go on piercing points. Now the front piercing point we have to drop perpendicular. So I'm going to use a pencil for that. So this is so the so the thing you have to notice is A, B, C, D, E. All these points are on the picture plane and the piercing points are the same point itself. So from the piercing point, if we drop a perpendicular to the line drawn from SP dash to A dash, you want to get the same point. See, A is on the same point, B is on the same point. So actually, your perspective projection point of A, B, C are the same. A, B, C, D, and E. The front portion of the pentagon is having the same size in the perspective projection. Remember, when an object is touching the picture plane, we have the same size of the object in the perspective projection. The other points, to A1, B1, C1, they have a different piercing point. See, so we're going to draw that first. So the line the visual drive from sp dash to a1 dash is this line your piercing point for a is this i'm going to draw a line like this that's my a1 b1 is right here that's e1 Now you tell me how do you complete these points or how do you complete the perspective projection? Of course, you have to find out which all sides of this object can be seen from this station point. Okay, so that's your object. You're viewing this object from here okay, in this direction. So you can see this face, this face completely, and this edge also, right? So that's what you see. Okay. Now, uh, this side is A, A1, and this face is completely A, B, C, D. So, we are going to connect these sides. So, A, A1 is going to come. You can see this side. So, that's pretty much your visible side you have to mark the hidden edges so when you look from here you can see that D1 D1 see light up a torch from here this side doesn't or uh, light doesn't fall on this side so this side D1 corner is sure to be sure to be hidden so we're just connecting D1 D1 E1 D1, C1 and D, D1. Similarly, C1 is also hidden. 